Hello, and welcome to Soil Physics. My name is Brooke, and today we will be learning about porosity. Porosity is important in soil physics because it is a soil property that tells us the percent void space in a soil sample. The percent void space can tell us about how water, air, and nutrients move through a soil profile. It also can tell us about root uh, penetration in soil. My name is Sarah and I'm going to tell you about the equations we can use to get porosity. The first equation is this one which is volume void over volume total or VV over VT. We can use this equation but we normally don't because it's very hard to measure the volume void. So instead we use this second equation which is porosity equals 1 minus bulk density over particle density. I'm Rebecca and I'm going to be taking you through the breakdown of the porosity equation. So, porosity equals volume total over volume total, which this ties back into our one. Mass of the solid over volume total is equal to our bulk density, times the reciprocal of the particle density, density, which is volume solid over mass of the solid. And since we have that, our mass of the solids cancel up. So what we're left with is porosity equals volume total minus volume solid over the volume total, which equals volume void over volume total, which is what we have here. Okay, my name is Wednesday, and I'm going to take you through how to find bulk density and particle density. So in the lab, you will measure bulk density by taking a container filled with wet soil and subtracting that by a, the same container with the same soil, only the soil has been oven dried and you'll divide that over the volume of the container used. It's the same container the whole time. It's just one whole big thing. So when you get that, you'll get grams over centimeters cubed. For our particle density, we're using the assumed particle density for a sandy soil, and that is also in grams per centimeter cubed. So the values that we got from our lab that we did our bulk density was 1.55 grams over centimeters cubed, and our particle density is 2.65 grams over centimeters cubed. Hi, my name is Jeff Liu. How are you guys doing? So now you know how to find porosity by doing the lab, find bulk density and particle density, and now we can go through some examples. So after you find out the so go back to this equation. So porosity is equal one minus bulk density and particle density. So we found bulk density on the lab. So it's a 1.55 cubic centimeter. And then we assuming particle density is 2.65 gram per centimeter. And then now we can calculate so what porosity is. So 1 minus 1.55 and then divide by 2.65. All right. It's 0 0.42 and so the unit here is cancel out. So we do not have a unit for porosity and so the porosity for this problem is 0.42. Have a good day.